All right, Shalom. This is the brother Nahalia from the GMS Orlando camp. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakodash. There were honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yahshua Allah, and a sincere salutation to all you Akim, who are preaching this word and believing this word, and to the Akwath, who are believing this word in all truth and in sincerity. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 8 and verse. 50 and it reads for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride but understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee now I want to go into a lesson through the spirit you know a real quick impromptu that the only ones are going to understand all right are going to be the ones that are such as like unto thee lord will and well part of the elect all right and the reason i want to go into that through the spirit is because your family's not going to understand all right for those who have for those of the brothers who have women you know more than likely your woman's not going to understand and that's a part of counting the cost that's why the brotherhood is so important through the spirit. That's why these video epistles are so important through the spirit, because it's a reminder, you know, that you're not alone. You know, the Lord told Elijah that he had 7000 men that did not bend the knee to Baal. And what that really meant was that he wasn't the only one going through the struggle. All right, we're all fighting that good fight of faith. Lord willing, we're a part of that number. But you have to make peace with the fact that most people are not going to understand. They're not going to understand why you do what you do through the spirit. Lord willing, we're a part of that number. Even now, all right, through the spirit, while we're in the uh, hell days of Babylon, all right, thanks killing, all right, Saturnalia, better known as Christmas. Most people are not going to understand why you move the way you move through the spirit if the Lord is giving you this understanding. They're not going to understand. They're not going to receive it. And that's why the Lord told Edris to seek out the glory. All right. And understand for thyself and seek out the glory. All right. For such as be like unto thee, because only a few of our people actually have this understanding. And that's the that's the. Uh. That's a part of counting the cost, all right? If we're being honest here, you have to accept that. All right, the scriptures talk about those who have lost patience. And why does Jake lose patience? Because they go into seasons like this, you know, and they get weak, you know, or the people that they're around, you know, they can't speak to them concerning the things that they're really going through. And they get weak, man. They lose patience. But we understand through the spirit that the majority of our, our family, the ones that we're around, the ones we interact with most in the world are not going to understand where we come from. And you have to accept that. The scriptures talk about the Lord coming to bring division. Yahweh Shah came to separate. Lord willing, we're a part of that number. He came to separate you from your household. He came to separate you from your family. That means that there's going to be a natural absence concerning all these family affairs that your family has that you're not a part of. And they're going to ask questions. They're looking at your journey through the spirit. And they're trying to figure out the hope that is in you. Why do you move the way you move compared to how they move? And through the spirit and poverty, how by Shemal Shah, we understand that the Lord came to separate us from our households. All right. That's a part of counting the cost, man. All right. Real quick. This is Luke chapter 12. And I want to jump down to around 51. All right. Luke 12. And 51 reads. Suppose ye. That I come to give peace on earth. I tell you nay. 
but rather division. This is the real, man. It's not sugar-coated. Continuing, it says, 50, uh, verse 52, For from henceforth there shall be five in one house divided, three against two, and two against three. The father shall be divided against the son, and the son against the father, the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, the mother-in-law against the, her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And just being in Babylon and, and, and through the spirit, understanding where we are, these are the times where a lot of times your family is going to tempt you the most because they're going to notice your absence. And if they noticed it last year, they're going to try to, you know, compensate. They're going to ask you, well, what are you doing? Why, why can't you hang around? You know, and even if you do have the, the, you know, the conscience to go in and deal with your family during the holidays, they're going to notice that you're not there as much as you used to be. And even if you're there, you're not there, if you know what I mean. This is a part of the journey. We have been called out of the world, out of darkness. Which means that most of the people you're around are not going to understand you, man. This is why for those who are believers, you watch the videos and you continue to be edified and reminded of, of what you're a part of. And for the brotherhood, this is why we love being a part of the ministry concerning physically being in a fellowship, being around brethren, because it's a reminder that you're not alone in this fight. And through the spirit of Pavi by Shemel Shai, this is a small price to pay for what we stand to gain. Lord willing, we're part of that number. Hey, but as the scriptures say, this is the condition of the battle. All right. This is uh, this is a part of the sufferings through the spirit, man. All right. We have to accept Slakia, we have to accept that most of our family are not going to make it. And that's a hard pill to swallow for a lot of our people, which is why, you know, they can't come into this. Because they're not willing to lose to gain Hamashiach. But for those that know it through the spirit, you know, maybe you're just coming into the uh, truth. All right. Maybe you're just starting to take the truth seriously. You know, whatever the case may be, um, for those who don't know it, all right, this is a part of counting the cost, all right? Your family is not going to understand. They're not going to understand you. They're not going to understand why you take this so serious. Even if it's the ones that's closest to you, all right? For Jake, that's, uh, you know, that's just coming to the truth and you may have a woman, she's not going to understand your, your journey, all right? You have to accept that. She's not going to understand. And through the spirit, your family, most of your family are not going to understand. You know, your moms, your uncles, whatever, who you was cool with in, the, in your family before the truth. Just understand that this is a part of it. All right. This is a part of the condition of the battle that we're in. All right. And that as we come into these harder times, as we come into these times, the consequences are going to be permanent. Some of our family are literally not going to make it, man. You know, and brothers talk about this through the spirit all the time, because this is why the Lord called us to prepare us. We have to be prepared to understand what we're a part of. And this is what we're a part of. All right. Matter of fact, I mentioned it. Let's go into Luke chapter 14. And verse 27, and it reads, and whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. And you got to think, Yahweh Shai, you know, he said, who is my mother? Who is my brother? This is what we're a part of, man. And you have to understand that the, the majority of the people that you're around on a day to day basis aren't going to understand what you're a part of. Now, you have brothers that, you know. The Lord has allowed them to have a life that is close to maybe you, you, you have a roommate that's a brother or, you know, you work with a brother, you see a brother often, you know, but for the majority of brothers, you know, the, your day to day, who you wake up with, you know, all of that. It's not going to be with someone who understands your journey like you understand it through the spirit of Pavi Al-Bashim al And that's a part of counting the cost. 
A lot of our people are attached to these traditions of men because they get the fellowship with their family and they have some good times and good laughs with their family. And they attach it to these pagan holidays. And that's why they can't let them go. And in essence, it means that you love your brother and your mother, all right, more than you love your Haobah Shemia Osha. Now, don't get me wrong. You know, the scriptures talk about if you be, uh, you know, persuaded to go to a feast, you know, and, and then, you know, it don't affect your conscience. You can go through the spirit. But just understand that there's going to be a natural separation. Even if you're at one of these events, you're not really there. And that's a part of what we have been called from. We've been called out of darkness. We've been called out of the will of the Gentiles. Which means the majority of the people that you're around are not going to understand where you come from. This is why you can meet brothers for the first time. And y'all have a better understanding and conversation than someone you've known for years in the world. Why is that? Like the Lord told Edris, seek out the glory for such as be like unto thee. That's why Yahweh Shai, which is our king. Understand our king went through it all first. This is why he said, who is my mother and who is my brother? We have to understand this is a part of our journey through the spirit. And this is uh, more so a lesson for those who are just coming in. Who really may not understand through experience yet. You know, you understand that, you know, the Lord don't want us to celebrate certain holidays and, and certain things of that nature. But at the same time, you know, this is a part of counting the cost. Certain relationships that you had in the world are going to become more distant. Because what you know and what you understand won't let you settle for small talk as much as you used to. And during these seasons, these two months, November and December, are oftentimes hard for Jake because they're so used to being around their family. But once this truth hits you, it doesn't allow you to do the same things and carry yourself the same way. So even for the sake of those relationships through the spirit, you cancel those to win Hamashiach. All right. Matter of fact, let's go to that. Because this is what Paul said concerning this. All right. This is Philippians chapter three. And I will start at seven. And it reads, but what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Hamashiach. Yea, doubtless. And I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Hamashiach Yahweh my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that I may win Hamashiach. And that included everything. That included relationships. That included um, routines. That included jobs. All right. It includes all of those things. Like Paul said, he, he, he counted it all dumb to win Hamashiach, man. And this is the condition of the battle. And in the grand scheme of things, it's a small price to pay, man. All right, through the spirit, uh, I was uh, blessed to have a conversation with uh, one of the elders, the elder Big Gad. You know, and he said, he said something through the spirit that was uh, very beautiful. He said, you know, for forever, man, it's going to cost something. All right. To win forever, it's going to cost you. It's not going to be an easy journey to gain forever. That's not just going to happen in a light. You know, you're going to have to sacrifice something. Now, the scriptures talk about it being a light affliction, but at the same time, you know, chastening for the present moment is not joyous, but grievous. So it's going to hurt. It's going to sting a little. But this is the condition of our battle. And for those who are new to the faith, you know, those who haven't um, been in this as long, and I haven't been in it long enough, you know, through the spirit. But based on the experience the Lord has allowed me to have, I do understand something that is very important, that counting the cost is extremely important, man. You have to know and understand 
what you're signed up for. And that means that the things that that this world has deemed valuable. All right. The things that you were used to in the world, when you come into this truth, you get rid of those things. And it happens naturally. You know, the elder, um, elder Ariala said this one point at one time, he said, uh, this journey is simple, but it's not easy. Meaning, you know, the instructions, you know what you're supposed to do. But it doesn't mean that it's going to necessarily be easy to do it. So you're going to go through hard times. You're going to go through rough patches. And a part of that for those who are new in the faith is losing the routine that you were used to, the relationships you were used to. Whatever it was that you had in the world that you got to give up to win Hamashiach, like it says in Philippians, the third chapter. And that means that a lot of the people that you're around are not going to understand where you're coming from and who you are. They're going to understand who you were, but they're not going to understand who you are. All right. Who you are now is completely different. Lord willing. All right. It's Romans 12 and one. All right. And it reads. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh Shai, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh Shai, which is your reasonable service. This is our reasonable service, man. All right, Hamashiach died, man, you know, and we're constantly in remembrance of this. Hamashiach died, he suffered for our sake. And it's a reasonable service for us to give up the things of this world that a lot of times are detrimental to us, that we may gain Hamashiach. And it's a small price to pay for forever, man. And that's why what the elder told me stuck with me. You know, we're, we're fighting for forever, man. We're not just fighting for an uh, uh, NBA championship. We're fighting for forever. And that means there's going to be sacrifices a part of that journey. And understanding that the, mo the majority of the people that you're around on a day-to-day -day basis for most of us are not going to be people who understand this truth the way you do. Even the brothers that have women that know that they're in the truth and they, you know, they, they be at peace dwelling with you. You know, they may keep the Sabbaths. You know, they may not cook unclean foods. There are still certain parts of this journey that they will never understand, especially for those who are, who are a part of the body. And for those who are just coming in, you know, the change of routine, the change, the distance that comes with understanding this truth and being separated from your family, even if you're around them all the time, you're not really there with them anymore. Why? Because your thoughts are in the heavens. Your mind and your spirit, your ambition is in the heavens. You know, I was having a conversation with my mother a couple months back, and she said that you know, she know I, my mind is in the heavens for the most part, but sometimes you got to come down to earth to, to fellowship with us. You know, and it really kind of hit me, you know, because she saw through the spirit that even when I'm there, she know I'm not there, you know. Why? Because our mind is on a different mission and this is just us now. Lord willing, we're a part of that number. This is who we are. Scriptures talk about us being stirred by the way of pure remembrance. Though we once knew this, this is us. And the world would try to make you feel some type of way about being who you truly are through the spirit. And the way you know that this is who you truly are is when you hear those precepts, when you see a video. When you hear a precept you didn't know about or that you didn't look at the same way. It's a small reminder because nobody's there at that moment but you. This is who we are through the spirit and the things that we give up on this side to gain that is but dung, like Paul said in Philippians, the third chapter. So understand the majority of people that are around you are not going to understand where you come from. And that's going to that's going to take some patience. You're going to have to practice and exercise patience in your walk through the spirit. And that comes through experience of understanding that everybody don't know what you know. Even the ones closest to you, even the ones you share the relationship with 
whether it was a close relationship with your friends or your family, that the separation is really not of you. It's of your how about you, I was shy. Like it says in Luke, the 12th chapter, the Lord came to bring division. That means he came to pull out one out of a household, maybe two out of a household. And right now you're being spiritually severed from the, the, the world. And that means that you're being spiritually severed from your family and from those who you called friends in the world. And there's a certain level of, you know, tolerance that you can deal with maintaining certain relationships. But eventually a lot of those relationships are going to fall through the cracks. No matter how patient and tolerant you are through the spirit, you're going to desire to be around those who understand this truth. And everyone who don't, you know, you're really just tolerating those situations. And that's just to be honest. So, Lord willing, this was edifying. You know, I just want to go through that through the spirit, you know, for for maybe a new brother or sister that's just coming in and, you know, dealing with certain things. Everybody's not going to understand what you understand. And no matter how fervent you are about telling them, they're not going to see it the same way if it's not for them. That's why the Lord told Edges to seek out the glory for such as be like unto thee. Because everybody's not going to understand where you're coming from. They're not going to understand your thoughts. They're not going to understand how you look at the world as we see it today through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. They're not going to understand why you refrain yourself from the, the, the will of the Gentiles. The things that you used to enjoy. They're not going to understand why you separate yourself from these things. But the scriptures say, seek out the glory for such as be like unto thee. And understand this is a part of counting the cost. All right. So Lord willing, this is edifying. With that, I want to give all praise, honor and glory. Call her lawyer. Yahweh Bashim, I was shy. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yasha Allah. And a sincere salutation to all you Akim who are preaching this word and believing this word, and to the Akwath who are believing this word, in all truth and in sincerity. Shalom.